Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Osterberg501, and today I want to go over one of the best and easiest XP farms in Outriders. Now, before we get into the video, only 6% of people that watch my videos are subscribed to my channel. So make sure to subscribe if you want to keep up with all of my videos. Now, this farm is not only really good for XP farming and getting your way up to level 30 very easily and quickly, but it's also really good for looting epic armor and weapons to build up your mod library to then be able to have all those mods to create your build once you get to level 30 and start the end game. And this farm is going to be pretty simple. You're going to have to have gotten to the main campaign chapter called Forest Enclave. And then you're going to be farming the boss, which is in the first checkpoint of this campaign chapter, which is called Track Down the Chrysaloid. And all you're going to do is make sure you're on World Tier 1. And then you're going to kill the boss, go back to the main menu, and reload this checkpoint, rinse and repeat. And one thing to also mention with this is that for whatever reason, killing the boss won't actually give you the experience until you load back to the main menu and load back into the checkpoint then you will see you will have gained xp so i do have the numbers of how long it's going to take to level up here on average so every time you kill this boss it's going to give you a flat 1650 xp no matter what level you are killing this boss is going to give you that same amount of xp it also doesn't matter what world tier you're on increasing the world tier does not give you any additional xp and since you're going to be farming this on world tier one you can do it pretty quickly i would recommend if you're going to be doing this farm a lot to change up your build to just be a pure single target damage focused build maybe focus more on weapon damage and get a decent epic weapon with some decent mods on it and you should be able to kill this boss very quickly on world tier one on average my runs on my pyromancer are taking a minute and 30 seconds and since this gives you a flat amount of XP, it's going to be much better for lower levels and much quicker to level up when you're lower level than when you're higher level. And I did do some numbers on around what it should take to level every level. So I got my Pyromancer here at level 19. You should be able to get here actually much earlier than that if you just do the main campaign missions. So the starter levels will be much quicker to get. But it seems that every level you get up is going to take an additional run. So if you go here and level from 19 to 20, it will take you 10 runs to level up. And it seems that every level past that takes one additional run to go through the full level. So if you want 20 to 21, it would take 11 runs. If you did 21 to 22, it would take 12 runs, etc. For these few levels I've tested, that seems to be how it's going. I'm not sure if, say, the last few levels or the really, really high levels are going to have higher XP scaling, but it seems to be that this is how many runs it's going to take with how much the XP requirements are increasing. So using all the numbers I went over, I have a rough estimate of how long it would take you to get from level 19 to 30 using this farm. So you get 1650 XP every kill. It's taking me around a minute and 30 seconds for every single kill. And if the formula stays true that every additional level takes one additional run to get through that entire level, it'll take you 165 runs to get from level 19 to 30, which comes out to being a little over four hours, which is not a bad farm at all. There are farms that will probably be around the same amount of time, but also keep it in consideration that this is very easy to do this farm. Honestly, majority of the farm is just waiting for animations to go through and get through the cinematics. So it's partially AFK. You can easily get away with watching videos while doing this, and you will be getting two guaranteed epics for every single one of these runs. And you can get anywhere from two to five item drops, not counting resources from these. It seems to be pretty rare to get more than three drops, but you can get up to five and you get two epic drops pretty much every run. So you're very quickly able to build up tons of epics, get upgrades if you need them, and build up your mod collection very easily. So just a quick TLDR, you're going to go to the Forest Enclave main campaign mission, and you're going to replay the boss fight that's tracked down the Chrysaloid. Make sure you're on World Tier 1, and it should take you a little over 4 hours to get from level 19 to 30 while doing this, and you'll be getting tons of epic item drops while doing it. So subscribe if you want to see more Outriders or other videos. Leave a like if you liked the video. Leave a comment down below what you guys think about this XP farm spot, and thanks for watching.